Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to my big city. Uh, it's it's Engertopia. And if you've been watching the series, you know that last time I built a load of geothermal power plants, I connected them to a massive grid to export all that electricity out of the map. And now we are making some stonks. I've got four million quid on me. Yeah. Which means I finally have the budget to keep building some of my flagship enterprises. Because building an engineering paradise is not cheap. I mean, look at the size of this dam. And like, if we if we head up above the clouds up here. Do you remember I built Architect Heaven? Oh no, the camera, the camera doesn't go high enough. <laughs> we're stuck, we're very much stuck at ground level. But this place is nice. This is where architects go to heaven. What did he say? If I just pop out of the photo mode. Yeah, this is... Engineer, which if you remember, you can only access via the air. Uh, but somehow there are there are cars up here. So people somehow have been sneaking their cars onto their planes. Probably in their hand luggage, which is always getting bigger, isn't it? Anyway, as we look out over the city, we can see... Oh, <laughs> can we see? <laughs> there you go. You can see how, how Engitopia has expanded. It's actually... It's actually looking quite impressive, if I'm honest. However, you remember at the end of the last episode, I, I found there's loads and loads of traffic. Just standstill traffic. Uh, I did actually ask Biff, I was like, mate, fancy, uh, fancy fixing some traffic of like a real city. And unfortunately, he was like, this city is not PG-13. I, I cannot do this. Too many knobs. I don't know what he's on about. I don't see any knobs anywhere. All I see is efficient engineering. Oh, yeah, there's that. There's that railway. Okay, I forgot about that railway. Fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, because I spent so long trying to trying to make money, I've actually got so many points saved up. 33 progression points, which means we could unlock some cool stuff. We could get a grand bridge, which I never say no to bridges, but I sort of want to look at all these. So, oh, I could get a nuclear plant. I could make my citizens super healthy, actually. Could do disease control and health research. Or we could get a large collider. Because that creates higher demand for electronics and software companies. And again, that is another way I can make fat cash. Alternatively, I feel like this is what my city's been lacking, really. A prison to hold all the architects. Because yes, whilst we do have the natural habitat for architects, they live here over on Architect Island. It's, it's surrounded by a poop moat. It's literally landfill. Oh my god, the landfill is actually filling up. Like, it's all lumpy now. Oh, I didn't know it went lumpy as it filled up. That's quite cool. How much capacity is left then, actually? Oh, they're like half filled up. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I have encouraged architecture. I may need a prison. So, let's unlock police headquarters. Let's unlock a prison. Then what does a prison cost? Oh, 650,000 quid. Minus five crime weight within 800 meters. Now, the thing is, I wanted to put this somewhere very secure. And I feel like the most secure place would be probably in the middle of this poo dam. So this, if you remember, we, we're filling this up with poo. This is our poo storage because our poo, our poo moats around Architect Island, it was about to overflow. So I need somewhere to store it. So we got that up here. Potentially, we can make poo power uh, once we get enough, enough liquid poop in there. But for now... If I were to turn this into a poop moat again, I could then shove my prison on there. Oh, wow. It's actually... It doesn't fit on there. You can see, like, the edge is sort of hanging off. I mean, it does fit, but only only just. What side do the roads come off? Like, if I do that... Yeah, okay. So, the road comes off that side. So, let's just raise the ground up along that edge. Right. And then, man, you really, you really get a feel for how tall this thing is when you build a prison on it. But, yeah, I think we'll take a narrow little road across here. And because they're architects, what sort of bridge do I, I want to do like a... I want like a really nice bridge so that they're they're embarrassed. Alternatively, do they deserve a nice bridge? Maybe they should have like one of these horrible roofed bridge. So yeah, we have a little entrance past the poo pumps. This hideous bridge, the Auburn... No, not, not even that. The Auburn bridge. And then we're just going to paint this in. And this district is going to be called Alcratraz. And basically, I'm going to ban, like, everything there, basically. It's the Gaster community. They have to recycle. There's speed bumps. Because I don't want people sneaking in. Like, we don't want contraband getting in there. So we don't want, like, I don't know, like, cantilevered beams and curved glass walls and stuff. We don't want photos of that coming in. Now, since these are architects, we can, we can lower the, the standard of living a bit more than usual. So what we'll do... We'll have that there hanging off the edge. So that will be where they poo. It just it just adds to the moat. That way the prisoners know every time they poo, they're actually making it harder to escape. 
And then for water, we want a water pumping station. So we can put that there. And that is pumping the water. What I'll probably do though, let's just let's just make sure it's definitely pumping the water. Water. Yes, nice. Okay, so they've got water. It's just dirty, but that's fine. They're they're dirty architects anyway. That's all they deserve. So that is that is all in. We've got zero prisoners currently. Well, that's good. It means there's not many. There's not as many architects as I thought. Anyway, I feel like it's been a while since I've actually like tried to keep on top of demand. So I might do that quick. Now, although fair play, city's actually looking quite city-ish. Like it's really tall. But yeah, let's let's get some high density in there. Get some big shops in as well. And I might start replacing. These are all like their offices, I think. Might start replacing them with like other stuff. Because do we really want offices looking out on this on this? beautiful landscape. We'd rather some houses down there, I think, so they can take advantage of the views. There's a lot of commercial demand. Like, I'm going to replace all these small commercial buildings with big ones. But yeah, this edge, it just makes sense for it to be shopping, like, rather than rather than offices. Like, we've got big car parks and stuff. So yeah, sorry, officers. Get rid of you. We can always move you if, if, the, if the demand for officers comes back. But for now, it's all shops. Forget what I just said about it should be, it should be housing. <laughs> People need to shop with good views too. All right, so now that's all edged up. I can then just like grid this area a little bit. All right, and then high density in the middle, big commercial buildings around, and then medium density around the outside. Maybe this bottom edge will also be shops underneath as well. And then that's pretty much a new area built already. Population flying, money absolutely flying, nearly a hundred grand an hour. <laughs> I'm going to unlock the nuclear power station. So I think it's time to go nuclear. However, I'm not I'm not going to use that to power my city. No, I've got I've got a better idea. Okay, what does a nuclear plant cost? It costs 5 million quid? What? It costs a million a month to upkeep? That's a lot. Hang on, how much energy does that make? 750 megawatts compared to my geothermals. They only make between 0 and 150. Okay, maybe nuclear is actually quite good. But yeah, for a nuclear plant, I know I know that you need like you need a good water intake. So there's water down here. So if I purchase those three plots, and then oh, do I really want to do this? This is all my money. It could work. It could actually work though. So yeah, let's just let's just do it. It'll be fine. Actually, I'm not I'm not gonna do it over here. I'm gonna do it up here where I know there's I know there's people and stuff. So nuclear power plant, boosh, it's in. Oh look, they actually they actually graded the slopes for me. Cheers, game. Appreciate that. But yeah, we need road access because this requires this requires educated, well-educated, and highly educated employees. So if we just connect this up, road connection. It needs a road connection where? What do you want about game? I don't know why. I don't know why it needed that. There's literally there's no entrance there. But whatever. Okay, at least it's connected now. So we then got to connect all the services. So there is. There is a connection here. You'll see though, it's not actually getting enough water. It needs it needs over 600 meters cubed a month. And it also means up here, I think it's taken the water from up there. Like, can you see like the pipes there? They all go to the nuclear plant. Nothing upstream is working. Yeah, look, ev oh no, everything down here. <laughs> it's taken all the water from my industrial plant. Uh, so yeah, what I need to do down here, I need to get some more some more water pumps on the goat. I mean, actually, could I use the groundwater pumping stations? Oh no, I have I've like polluted them all. Yeah, they're all polluted. Okay, so we will just we will just grab some water pumping stations. Now they pump a hundred meters cubed a month, so I need like seven or eight of these. So let's buy these plots. Let's then get all of these in. All right, then they're all connected. They should be pumping loads of water. The thing is. Do, do pipes have like a limit as well? That is the question. So we look up here. So there's our nuclear plant. Yeah, look, there's still there's no water getting up to these. Although it's still it's still running, 115%. Okay, so maybe it doesn't need water up there. And like until we get the the thing where we can clean water, which I assume will be a DLC, we're not going to be able to make infinite power. We will be polluting. Thankfully, we are pretty downstream, so it's only down there that will get covered in poo. Anyway, look, the, the steam is flowing out of the nuclear power plant, which means, yes, it's actually it's actually making energy. So if it's making 750 megawatts, each power line can take, what's that, 400 megawatts? So I need at least two power lines out of this thing in order to export that energy. So we'll literally just go straight out like that. 
none of that power is going to Entropia. It's all going outside of the map and hopefully getting us some cash. So if we hover over the income, oh yes, 120 grand an hour. Okay, so basically I'm going to just keep saving up for nuclear plants. That will be my income for the city. However, I need more employees. What are we what are we slacking on? We've got educated employees. We have highly educated. We don't have enough well-educated employees. I assume highly educated is university. So I probably need just more colleges dotted about. So I'll tell you what, since I got demand for like low density as well, let's expand Britishville, which, oh, I need to actually expand anyway. But let's expand it and like fill up this little peninsula thing. That'll be beautiful for building on. Nice, look at that. That is lovely. Although, what is that? What is it? Another old mill ruined. What's that, health and safety inspector? There's asbestos in it. It needs to be deleted. Okay, boosh. If anyone asks, it was it was asbestos ridden. All right, I need to buy this point as well. Because look, I've left I've left a bit of a mountainside there. But I think that's probably that's, that's good to build on. We're all sorted now. All right, so keys are in. Keys are like, <laughs> they're like the wobbliest things you've ever seen. Uh, this is our arterial road. Remember, this takes like all the traffic. It's like the artery of our city. So we've got to sort of, we've got to make sure this goes like everywhere, basically, just so we can have like junctions. We're just going to continue Britishville, which is a complete mess of cul-de-sacs. Just how us Brits like it. And we're just going to continue that over here. And basically, I'm going to I'm gonna prove Biffa wrong that it wasn't covered in strong shapes everywhere by showing him what it could have been. Yeah, that'll teach him. That'll definitely teach him. So, Cody Sacks have lots of dead-end arms like that. All right, so that's that done. I feel like I may have gone a little bit too far that time. But yeah, since this is a new area, it's going to need some new services. So, the whole reason we built this was the college. So, let's shove the college in. That needs an extra road sorted should probably shove a hospital in somewhere maybe a fire station and police station as well so they are all in the rest of this can literally just be just be houses actually maybe maybe people need to attend primary school like elementary school before they can go to college so we'll shove one of them down probably a high school in here as well all right then literally just paint all of this up with low density housing now i might do i might actually do some medium density like with shops underneath along the edge. I do I'm I'm all about a promenade in this see in this series. Yeah, then we'll just do the odd blob of like shops. Probably low density shops around here. Like we can do the tip there in commercial, the left nut of this one. But yeah, the majority low density housing. Wow, that demand is just not going down. Like <laughs> I've nearly painted all of this in and people just want to move here. All right, surely going along this shaft, that's really gonna fill in some demand surely it's not it's not budging all right okay well that's the entire area painted in you can see all the buildings have literally gone up demand is still there so our population is going to be flying up we're making 126 grand an hour still let's just have a look oh yeah we have we have the workers now there's only five open positions yeah, and I also I have the cash to get another nuclear plant. So we could we could go full on nuclear, add another one. Oh no, look what's happened over here. So this is my my industrial area. All the high school labor have disappeared. They've all gone to work in the nuclear plant. They were oh, they just require educated and poorly educated. Apparently that's high skilled. So maybe I do just need some more schools. How's the old Oh, how's the traffic looking? <laughs> Oh no, that's a lot of traffic. All right, what we may have to do is like another junction like this end maybe. If we connect up all these houses, then this won't be as busy. And there is like, there's an there's like another industrial area up there as well. Yeah, with this junction. So I think that would be sensible. By the way, this place is like expanding rapidly. I'm actually really liking that we finally got some like high density buildings in and it's not that bad. But oh, look, we're a large city now. They've just given me 3 million. So I've, I've nearly got 10 million on me. <laughs> uh, two things. One, everyone everyone in the comments told me don't don't make it a gated community, Matt, because uh, then people like can't get to work or something. So I've, I'll turn that off. But then I need to expand the Britishville area, which I can't remember how to do to sod it. Let, let's just buy let's just buy another nuclear plant instead. <laughs> I'm not addicted to nuclear power. You are. Oh, I can only have one. No, I can only have one. Oh, that sucks. How do I make more power? Like 750 megawatts. Solar only makes 200 megawatts. What does a power plant? <gasps> 20,000 megawatts. Okay, next time we need to work out exactly how dams work. 
Because I'm not convinced this one's ever going to make any power. Or <laughs> well, maybe it will, just in like 3,000 years when this is filled up with poo. But uh, I think that's quite a while off. So for now, I'll say peace, love. And I'm making 150 grand an hour. Bye, guys.